Hello, welcome to Hub Up. I'm Sarah, and today we are in a new location. Black Friday coming up, mm. people are rushing out to the shops, thinking of you know, changing up your style and buying some new pieces. Trying something new. So you know we've talked about this a little bit before, that we have a campaign coming up at the end of the month called Bright Friday, where we're encouraging people to ditch the sales, to get out, try something new, whether that's secondhand shopping, making their own clothes, or just finding a new style, this is for you. So the reason that we have come to talk to Jessica is because you have an amazing style. Go and check out her YouTube channel, it's beautiful. And my Instagram. And it's most of the stuff that you buy secondhand or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get things from vintage fashion fairs. They're really good. They have a good rummage around there. Secondhand shops, such as your local charity shop. You can find some really, really great bargains. And I get things from a vintage reproduction. But then this is just a vintage skirt that I picked up, which is homemade. It's homemade. By some, yeah, by some nice lady <laughs> many years ago. Thank you, lady. <laughs> yeah, a lot of my clothes are actually homemade from the 40s and 50s. And I do occasionally make my own stuff. Ah, as you are the queen of all things vintage, any top tips for anyone out there who's looking to do something a little bit different? I do, I do. Okay, first tip. Do not be overwhelmed. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Often when you work at, walk into a vintage fair or a vintage shop, there's just so much stuff. There are so many rails, so many different clashing fabrics, colors, oh God, textures, who knows? And you don't know whether it's your size, so just don't be overwhelmed. Take a breath, be prepared, don't be tired. When you go to a vintage fair, that's never a good idea. It's like shopping hungry. You're just gonna come out with some weird stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so don't panic. Yeah, don't panic. Uh, next tip, when you're going through the rails, it's important to use your hands. Don't use your eyes. Mm. But by going through, you're gonna feel the lovely silks, mm -hmm. the cottons, the linen, the silk blends, that kind of really good quality stuff, and then bring it out and have a look at it. Next thing would be, don't be put off by something just because it's not your size. So have a little try on. If it's just a little bit too big, it's not quite fitting right, there are always ways to adapt things, even without being able to sew. You put a belt on, brings it in. You can have tiny little, I have a little tiny little um, safety pins, which I use to pin things from the inside. So if you have a dress, for instance, and it's, you know, it's like this and it's not particularly flattering, what I do is I put a pin all the way through the front, so it gathers like this. Really I am nice way. astounded. That's the genius. It's a really nice way to make a really beautiful sweetheart neckline as well. Because I find that a lot with if I'm going to buy something vintage, I've got mm. like quite big shoulders and then quite little, so things kind of fall off or they don't sit in the right place or the neckline sits at a slightly weird level and it can be super off putting. But that was yeah. so easy. And things that would probably suit you quite well would be if you get three safety pins. You've got the one down here and then the sides as well. Mm. And you just that creates a really lovely neck clip that yeah. there. <gasps> there you go. My mind is blown. And you can do it from the inside so you can't see it from the outside. And you don't have to sew. Beautiful. Just pin it. Also, if you do find something and it is exceptionally beautiful, the fabric's really gorgeous. Say maybe it's a ball gown. I own some. So massive ball gown, the trade is gorgeous. The skirt's beautiful, but it just there's no way that pinning is gonna help that it. it's you know four sizes too big on top then it's not actually that expensive to go to an local seamstress and have alterations done if you can't do them yourself. If you can do them yourself, bonus, amazing. But yeah, but do factor in obviously that cost mm -hmm. when you're looking at the price of a garment. A lot of these fabrics you cannot just shove in a washing machine and be done with it. Although there are many you can, don't be too scared. <laughs> okay, tip, when you're going into a vintage fair or a vintage shop, have a vague idea of what you're looking for mm -hmm. because otherwise it's just too much. So you want a skirt, say? You're kind of wanting a pale skirt or maybe you just want a circle skirt. But don't be too fixed 
don't think I want a circle skirt and it must be this colour and it must be this size and it must be this length. Not gonna get That's it. not going to happen. That's definitely not going to happen. But you go in, you're like, oh, circle skirt. Mm. Yeah, that's that's an okay colour. I could work with that. I can find something that will go. I'm like, okay, it's just a little bit too big. I'll just move the button over. You know? Easy. Easy. So you'll always find stuff as long as you're what you're looking for isn't too narrow, but also not too broad. It's that middle ground again. Oh, we've learned so much. I know. At least well. it's all about like the kind of common threads between all of these is like not being afraid of being a bit creative. Like yeah. just because something doesn't fit you perfectly, or it's not totally what you imagined, or it hasn't been designed, yeah, yeah. you know, by someone for this exact season, you can still make it beautiful and make it work exactly, for you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And we've just filmed a video that is on my channel that you can go and see um, just about how you can kind of make the most of your clothing and really adapt it. So you might find a dress with a beautiful top but the skirt's a bit bleh, it's a bit rubbish. Wear it as a top. Just put Tip a skirt the over it. You know? Put a skirt over it. Or just chop off the bottom. The number one style tip. It's really cheesy, really corny, but be true to yourself. Sorry, that's so dumb. But it's it's true. Be true to yourself. Don't buy something because you think it's fashionable and you've seen someone else wearing it and it looks really good on their body. Mm -hmm. Buy something that looks good on your body and that you feel good wearing. It might like genuinely I get stared at in the street quite a lot. Occasionally people make comments. Like good comments. And some people are like, but why do you dress like that? It's it's kind of odd. Because it makes me so happy. That's the important thing about fashion. Genuinely, just wear clothes that make you happy. Yeah. Otherwise, why are you doing it? You're yeah. spending all this money and all this time putting something on and you want people to like it or you want to feel good in it. So don't let anyone else tell you what to wear. No. You do you. You're comfortable in what you're wearing and who you are. That was lovely. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, and that's, I think, everything for today. Thank you for watching. Head over and watch the other video on Jessica's channel. I will link to it in the description. And I will see you all next Friday. Bye.